Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Now, if you are, a, say, a technician or an electrician or an engineer, or if you do anything at all with electrical and electronic gizmos, you need a good pair of wire strippers. I know that everyone kind of has their preferred type, but I actually have been searching for like over 20 years for the perfect wire strippers, and I found them. So I should probably give you a little warning here. I don't go for the cheap ones. I've learned over the years that you need to go for the high class expensive strippers. So all right, off we go. So here we have, I'm going to include a few little bonus tools, but uh, all right, let's see. Let's get all this crap out of the way. So these are my preferred wire strippers. They look kind of funky. That's what happens when you squeeze the handle. And you can see here, you've got these little markings here. Those are in, in uh, millimeters squared. So you got 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, 1 1.5 square millimeter, 2.5, 4, and 6 square millimeter. And the beauty is you have these little blades here. And basically that actually clamps around like if, if, if this is the copper and, and my fingers are the insulation, it clamps perfectly around the insulation and then pulls and strips it off. And I'll do a little demonstration here for you in case you've never seen these before, because they're, they're kind of weird looking. So you put it in the proper hole, like so. It pinches the wire, and then you just squeeze. Ta-da! And that means you can, you know, you can, you can strip wires pretty quickly, right? Now, yeah, I know some people like the kind that's like, it's like a pair of pliers. They look, actually, they look a little something like this. I don't have a pair here. I have two pairs somewhere, but um, yeah, I don't use them. The reason I don't use those is because they have kind of like a diamond cut like this, and it, it doesn't actually get, it, it doesn't get around the insulation like these do. These, these make a very clean, uh, a very clean strip, if you will. <laughs> um, so yeah, these, these are the ones that, that I prefer for stripping your standard diameter wires. Uh, I have another pair that I ordered from a, f it's, an, it's a French electrical supply retailer, and they sell some for, they're like 50 euros, they're not cheap, and they're actually mostly plastic. And you'd think that the plastic ones would be worse, but they're actually not. Um, these are actually Nipex, you can see on there, they're little. Um, these are metal like I say the other ones I have are plastic it doesn't really matter I found the plastic ones I have I've like you know dropped rocks on them I've dropped them from a height of three meters uh, I've done pretty much everything except drive over them with a tank and even though they're plastic they're very very durable you can get plastic ones you can get metal ones just be sure that you actually pay uh, a fair amount of money you probably don't want to go to the store and get the absolute cheapest pair of these guys because the cheapy ones they do actually like the blades start rusting quickly like parts break off and they're um, but in terms of metal versus plastic it doesn't really matter just get a good quality pair and I will put some links down in the description for a couple different ones um, as I say these for the standard the standard diameter wires which uh, here in Europe 1.5 and 2.5 square millimeter are the most common and you'll see it only goes down to 0 0.5 to 2.75 square millimeters. So, okay, well, this is great for, for normal wires, but what about if you have to strip very thin wires, such as these guys? Now, this is actually a twisted pair of wires from a PTT-298 cable, which is a, a, basically a phone line cable. It has, PTT-298 has four of these twisted pairs, and it's basically for four phone lines. It's the it's the type of phone cable they use that's like DSL approved and all that stuff. So obviously this wire is like really, really, really teeny tiny. So you can't use this guy to strip it, right? It's not going to work. So, well, what do you do then? Well, actually, for that, my preferred tool is this guy. This is a Wiedmühle Stripax. Yeah. And <clears throat> again, here you have... Um, well, actually, this one this one works a little bit differently. 
it has this little guy here. Let me let me demonstrate this first, and then I'll. It's it's got these these funky like these teeth, these little blades on here, and then it's got this little thing that like slides back and forth, and then it's got this kind of like tension adjuster here. And what you do is you put your wire in up to the stopper, and you squeeze, and you're done. So okay, basically. This one's a little bit different because the stopper, you have little markings here. So you can see like the, the depth of, of the strip. It's like the, the, the distance between the blades here and that is how much of the copper is actually going to be exposed when you're done. And then this guy is the tension adjuster. Well, I call it the tension adjuster, but it's, it's basically like you have, to, you have to set your depth here and then you move this guy back and forth. And this one will do wires as small as point 0 0.08 square millimeters so it will do very very thin wires and the trick is uh, adjusting this little plus and minus slider there because when you adjust that it will either the the blades will bite down on the wire more or less and for thin wires this guy is really good uh, for thicker wires not so much because you can see the 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 blades there and basically what happens with this one is you have a blade up here and a blade down here. And so those blades are going to come down and they're going to cut the insulation on the top and bottom of the wire, but the insulation on the sides is, is still going to be connected. And then when you squeeze, the gray part slides back there and it pulls the insulation off. So for thicker wires, I find that these are actually not quite as good because they're not actually totally cutting the insulation like this guy does. Um, so that's why I have two. I have <clears throat> I have these guys for stripping larger diameter wires, and these guys are an absolute dream for stripping insulation off thinner wires. Now, uh, let's see. For for cable, here's here's a little bonus. For stripping cables, here we have a cable. This is a standard European cable. I think it's kind of like the equivalent of what do they call it in the U.S. like Ro Romex or something. I don't know. Anyway, this is a three conductor, uh, three by 2.5 square millimeter cable. So what happens if you want to cut this insulation off? Well, you can do it the old fashioned way, which is you get your, your, your box cutter and you very carefully without, uh, without killing yourself, you just go like this. And you pull and you pull and there you go, right? Okay, well you can do that. Uh, try not to slice your, your hand open. But the best tool for stripping insulation off round cables anyway is this guy. Uh, this is a Jokari, looks like a weird, a weird thing. You can see there's a little blade down in there and the blade is adjustable. If I turn this knob down here it makes the blade go higher or not. It's got this thing up here for like cutting and stripping which I never use because I, I actually appreciate my fingers. So, but the idea here is you press that thing up and you stick the cable in and then you rotate it around and then you pull and that basically, it, it cuts the wire in a circle and also cuts it around the bottom there and then it also, the blade rotates and slices through and that makes getting the insulation off these a lot easier. So. That is a Jokari. There's another version of Jokari that's actually like a little tube. Uh, I hate that one because I could never, it just, I, it doesn't like me. So um, anyway, I'll put links to that in the description too. Finally, just a quick little tip. You need good snippers. So you got this guy for stripping your fatter wires. You got one of these for stripping your thinner wires. You got this for taking insulation off of cables. And then you're gonna, going to need cutters. And the type of cutters that I have are these. Uh, again, these are rather expensive Nipex, a thousand volt rated. There's the cutting, you know, and they've got these two blades. But you see the type of of cutters they are there. I mean, you can you can use something like these, like these little guys, these snips. Obviously, you'd use a bigger one than than these, but um, those usually kind of suck. These have very uh, uh, sturdy and this sort of angled blade here. So if you want to cut like individual wires, it goes right through it and if you want to cut like fatter cables it, it just like it slices right through it with like almost no pressure and if you have to cut a lot of cables 
you're going to want to get a good pair of these cable snips because uh, they're sturdy, they're sharp, and they make cutting cables way, way easier than this type. No, use these. Right, so there you have it. Those are my preferred wire strippers and cable stripper. Um, I have to, uh, I have to say that, yeah, I've been, had one of these for a very long time, and it was only recently I have to thank my friend Damien for putting me on to these, because I had to strip. Uh, recently, I did a project where um, I had phone wires like this, and they're very difficult to strip if you have the wrong tool, and I had to strip. 60 to 100, 240 of these wires, and it took me forever. And then he goes, why don't you just use one of these? And he brought it over and he was like, whoosh, 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 and it was like done in like no time. And so that's where, that's when I finally realized that I needed to get a pair of these. Um, I don't, th these, they also make these for thicker wires. And like I said, I don't really prefer them for the thicker wires because they're only cutting the insulation from the top and bottom. So for that, I use this type. Yeah, so um, there you have it, world's best strippers. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.